Good morning, everyone, and welcome. Thank you for joining us this morning. My name is Yvette Dalrymple, and I'm the nurse practitioner in the Pogo uh, Pediatric Oncology Satellite Clinic here at Rouge Valley. On behalf of the senior management team, board of directors, staff, and physicians at Rouge Valley, I would like to thank you all for joining us today. We're here to celebrate the successful partnership between Rouge Valley Health System, Sick Kids, and the Pediatric Oncology Group of Ontario, or POGO. Through this partnership, we've been able to successfully provide life-saving treatment to our pediatric oncology patients right here in our clinic. At the end of our program, we will be unveiling the new POGO sign that will be on, on display in our POGO Pediatric Satellite Clinic. We will also be inviting guests for a tour of our unit. Our pediatric oncology clinic at Rouge Valley Centenary first opened its doors in April 2005. At that time, we had 19 patients registered. The program has grown over the years as we currently have 65 children on active treatment and an additional 43 on short and long-term follow-up. Our oncology patients are referred to us by sick kids and we work in partnership with the primary oncology teams there to ensure that our patients receive the best care possible. At our satellite clinic at Rouge Valley Centenary, our primary goal is to provide high quality cancer care to children and to ease the burden of parents and families by providing this care closer to their home. Our clinic sees close to a thousand visits each year. Our patients and our families come to us from East Toronto, the Durham region, and as far away as Port Hope and Peterborough. Some of the services we're able to offer include outpatient chemotherapy, blood work, transfusion, x-rays, ultrasounds, follow-up assessments, pain management, and if ever necessary, palliative care. One of the great things about our POGO satellite clinic is the flexibility it gives to the children and families. For example, kids can come in as early as 7.30 in the morning for blood work and assessments and then head off to school. Some kids will even put an Emla patch on their port at school, come here on their lunch break, get their chemotherapy, and then return to school for the rest of the day. We do our best to accommodate <coughs> children and families so that they can maintain as, a, as much normalcy in their lives as possible. I'm proud to say that this is the only nurse practitioner-led POGO satellite clinic. There are many advantages to this model, including having a consistent care provider for families and children. This allows the relationships to be built, trust and confidence to be gained, as well as strong communication and collaboration between Rouge Valley and Pogo and Sick Kids. We are pleased to have a number of speakers here today to help us celebrate. At this time, I am pleased to introduce our first speaker, Tracy McCharles. MPP for Pickering, Scarborough East, and Parliamentary Assistant to the Ministry of Children and Youth Services for the Ontario Liberal Party. Tracy has been an active volunteer in her community and at the provincial level for numerous charities, including the Canadian Cancer Society, Scarborough Unit, and the Ontario Division Board, the Big Sisters Association of Ajax Pickering, and the United Way. Tracy? Thank you. Thank you so much for that uh, kind introduction. Good morning, everyone. Um, I guess officially I'm here on behalf of the province, bringing greetings you know, from the Premier and talking to you as the Parliamentary Assistant for Children and Youth Services. So uh, your unit here uh, is of high interest to me and then the Minister, Dr. Eric Hoskins, in terms of being able to provide uh, the services directly to the children closer in their homes and communities and with their families, which is just wonderful. But I really feel I'm here more on a personal note, to tell you the truth. Um, I have very strong ties to this hospital. The um, uh, display case downstairs that honors uh, your volunteers in memoriam is actually made in dedication to my great-grandmother, who started volunteering here in 1965, and that case was donated by my grandmother and great aunt who passed away in the last couple of years. And I made a note to myself when I came in, I think we need a new case, it's looking a little bad. So perhaps my siblings and I can do something about that soon for the hospital. Um, but I've also been a patient here. This is where my journey started 
with osteosarcoma, bone cancer, 31 years ago when I was 17, and I went on to sick kids, and uh, I went on to have limb saving surgery in the States. But I returned to sick kids for my chemotherapy, where I met Dr. Greenberg. So it's always wonderful to see him. I don't see him very often, but we see each other at the odd event. And I have been involved in Pogo uh, in, a, in a minor way in the past, with some focus groups and conferences, and uh, hope I can continue that. And my children were also transferred here after being born prematurely from uh, Women's College Hospital. So I have a lot of ties to this hospital. I think my brother was born here too. Um, but the, the real connection is, 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 is POGO and the work of, of your nurse-led practitioner clinic. I just think it's fantastic and uh, there's nothing like having treatment close to home. And that's exactly what the government is trying to do on so many fronts, whether it's with seniors, our children to uh, provide better service and service that includes support of family and friends and it also is probably more efficient in some cases too that we can do that I was talking to these folks you know driving down to sick kids you know every day in the traffic um, you know you're gonna save time money and the system hopefully will save uh, time and money um, I just think uh, what we're describing where the kids can come in and, and uh, sort of self-advocate and do some of their treatment is wonderful and uh, uh, I just congratulate you for, for the work that's been done. So I have a certificate um, on behalf of the province and myself to the Valley Health System and the Pediatric Oncology Group and, and, and the Hospital for Sick Children for their work with the Satellite Clinic and I'll just read you what it says. Since opening in May 2005, this remarkable pediatric oncology clinic has been a champion of childhood cancer care, offering life-saving treatment to children in local, local setting. State-of-the-art diagnosis, treatment, and auxiliary services available to this clinic have improved the quality of life for children and entire families during all phases of a child's battle with cancer. The Rouge Valley Centenary Hospital is a huge part of our community and I'd like to thank you for continually working to ease the burden for families in our region. Congratulations to the hospital and to Pogo, and I wish you every success. And if I can be of any personal assistance at any time, please feel free to contact me. This technically isn't my writing, it's Margaret Best's writing. Um, uh, my writing just goes over to um, Morningside here, but we work together, so we're a team, and uh, I know Margaret. Uh, uh, would be very supportive as well of any issues going forward. So please don't hesitate to contact me if I can uh, be of assistance. I also want to say hi to Dr. Malcolm, who from Sick Kids, who I haven't sat down with since I was probably 20 years old. <laughs> it's nice to see him again <laughs> with all his genetic testing and so forth. That's great. So thank you very much, and um, looking forward to the rest of the uh, session. Okay. I'd now like to introduce our next speaker, Dr. Karen Chang, who is our Chief of Pediatrics here at Rouge Valley Centenary. Dr. Chang has been part of our medical team at Rouge Valley since 1989 and is the Medical Director of the Rouge Valley Centenary Neonatal Intensive Care Unit and Neonatal Follow-up. Dr. Chang. Thank you, Yvette. And thank you all for joining us this morning. I love working with children, it's a good thing because I'm a pediatrician. <laughs> They're so brave, often much braver than adults. They are more resilient and always very genuine. It is amazing how they cope, even with severe chronic illness. Their bravery in the face of all they have to experience once a diagnosis of cancer is made is awe-inspiring. They endure the seemingly endless pain of blood work and other tests, the discomfort and side effects of radiation and chemotherapy, and the disruption of hospital visits and stays. Yet still they smile, they laugh, they play, and they look to the future. Because POGO sets the standards for pediatric on oncology care across the province, our patients can be confident they are receiving the highest standard of care available to them in their community. Through our close association with sick kids, we co-manage our patients and our patients' families know that we are all working together to provide them the best up-to-date care. The convenience of our satellite clinic, available to our patients right in their community, makes a significant impact on their lives and their families. In a time of severe emotional stress and worry, the relief from traffic and fewer long trips downtown is multiplied. It means less disruption of the day 
and more time to spend with family and friends. It means fewer missed classes, which may be a <laughs> and assignments. Through our partnership, SickKids provides a diagnosis, the treatment protocol, and initiates the treatment. We here are then able to continue this planned treatment closer to home. We have a superb group of pediatricians and nurses here at Rouge Valley Centenary. But without Yvette, our lead nurse practitioner, and Dr. Moses <laughs> and Lynn, who supports her, the program would not be the success it is. Yvette is the link that allows the staff to have a real connection with our patients and families. Thank you, Yvette, for such a great job. <laughs> Almost 4,000 children in Ontario are currently receiving treatment or follow-up cancer care. It is a huge financial burden for their families. Families with a child in treatment lose one-third of their after-tax income to out-of-pocket costs. But we are gaining in the fight against pediatric cancer in Ontario. 82% of children are able to win their battle with cancer. And while we wish for the day when children are no longer diagnosed with cancer, we are thankful that through this partnership, we can today help provide the best possible care to them. Thank you so much to Pogo and the kids for allowing us to do this. I'd like to invite Dr. Angela Pennett, Staff Physician, Division of Hematology Oncology at Sick Kids, to share a few words. Dr. Pennett also serves as the Director of the Hospital's Internal Fellowship Program. Her clinical focus is in pediatric leukemia and lymphoma. She's an active member in a number of local and national education committees for pediatric hematology and oncology and teaches at the undergraduate, postgraduate, and continuing education level. I'm most pleased to be here on behalf of Sick Kids today at the sign unveiling ceremony for the Rouge Valley Hospital Pogo Satellite Program. The Pediatric Oncology Clinic here at Rouge Valley Hospital plays a vital role in the care of children with cancer and their families in this area. The clinic currently cares for over 100 pediatric oncology children, as Yvette um, previously stated, allowing these children to receive expert care from an incredibly dedicated medical team closer to their home and within their community. The number of children currently followed in the Pogo Satellite Care Clinics speaks to just how integral this provincial care program has become for children with cancer in Ontario, not only for local care, but also in allowing for timely access to care at tertiary centers for newly diagnosed patients and their families. The success of the satellite program is due to the ongoing infrastructure support provided by POGO and the collaboration between tertiary and satellite centers, um, and most importantly to our patients and their families. We are proud to be a part of this system of care and to partner with Rouge Valley Hospital with Yvette, Lynn, Dr. Moses, and the rest of the team here. Thank you for all of your work and tireless dedication, and congratulations. I would now like to call on Carrie Rance Flanagan, mother of six-year-old Olivia and four-year-old Abby. Abby is currently living with cancer and receives treatment at Sick Kids and here at Rouge Valley Centenary. Carrie is the self-appointed Chief Operating Officer of the Flanagan Household. She <laughs> with her husband, Bill, and her daughters, and their dog, Cassie. <laughs> Carrie left her career in communications to dedicate herself full-time to her family, where she now plays an active role in Abby's care as parent advocate. Carrie is also a parent representative on Pogo's Financial Gov Assistance Governments Committee. Carrie, welcome. Thanks so much, Yvette, and for inviting our family here today to speak about the positive impact this pediatric oncology satellite clinic at Rouge Valley Health Centenary has had on our lives. But before I do that, I thought you may be interested in hearing a bit more about how cancer touched the lives of the Flanagan family when our youngest daughter, Abby, was diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic, lymphoblastic leukemia in February 2010. I remember clearly and somewhat ironically that it was around the family day holiday in 2010 when an awful stomach bug invaded our home. And while my other daughter, Olivia, who was then four, and my husband, Bill, and I recovered quickly, 
Abby could not seem to shake this terrible bout of the stomach flu. Following repeated trips to our local hospital where IV fluids were administered to deal with her dehydration, Abby did not get better. She looked terribly pale and was extremely tired. I don't know if it was mother's intuition, but I didn't think everything was right. And other family members who dropped by to check in on us agreed Abby looked unwell. <coughs> this soon led us to our pediatrician who ordered routine blood work. We hit the lab one morning, and later that afternoon, I got the phone call from our pediatrician who told me that Abby's blood counts were abnormal. Some were too high, others too low, and that he had called sick kids, and we needed to go there right away. And we did. Just a few short hours later, we heard something a parent never wants to hear. Your daughter has cancer, leukemia. And those words changed our lives forever. Just three days following Abby's third birthday, our lives were no longer about play days or trips to the park. They became consumed with finger pokes, IV ports, and endless appointments. Fast forward four months later, and after what seemed like thousands of long commutes to Toronto, our spirits were lifted when the staff at SickKids told us Abby could now receive checkups and some treatment at a satellite clinic at Rouge Valley Centenary. Finally, our family thought a small light at the end of a very dark tunnel. And as we started coming here to the satellite clinic and saw it had what it had to offer our family, that light began to shine even brighter. This clinic has been instrumental in helping us cope better with Abby's cancer. And while it's true that C may stand for cancer, it also stands for the four words that I use to describe what this satellite clinic has provided to us. And those four words are convenience, comfort, care, and connected. First, convenient, otherwise known as close to home. While Sick Kids is fantastic and Abby's treatment plan was developed there, from our home in Whitby, it can sometimes take two hours each way to get to appointments. And at some points in Abby's treatment, we had to go there four days in a row for chemo. Lessening the commute for us and for the grandmas and grandpas and grandpas here with us today who often drive us, it really helps lessen the burden. Next, care. The staff at the satellite clinic is outstanding. We call our healthcare team here the terrific twosome. <laughs> Yvette, the nurse practitioner, and Lynn, the oncology nurse. This team not only administers the much needed chemo and blood work, they also provide expert advice combined with the soft skills that are absolutely necessary when dealing with children. They are patient, kind, and have a sense of humor. As you can imagine, Abby deals with so much that is negative and sometimes physically hurtful. It's so reassuring to us to experience caring touches and smiling faces. The care given here by the nurse practitioner nurse team, in my opinion, is not one easily duplicated. Next, comfort. The small clinic size and familiarity of this cozy playroom really gives a sense of warmth to Abby, as you can see, <laughs> who has struggled a lot with her procedures. Now, after coming here for over a year, Abby, Yvette, and Lynn have established very familiar routines. For example, Lynn knows that after a finger poke, Abby feels better having a Band-Aid. But not just any Band-Aid, only a Dora one will do. <laughs> and during Yvette's exam, she lets Abby look into her ears first with the special flashlight, and then Yvette let, takes her turn to look at Abby's ears where she usually finds potatoes, of course, and that always gets Abby's giggle going. Last, but certainly not least, this clinic makes us feel connected. It's reassuring for me to know this team is so closely connected with our primary physician at SickKids. If there are questions or concerns, I know a consultation is a quick phone call away, and there's also always open and ongoing communication between the satellite staff and the SickKids team. After summarizing the four C words I used to describe what this satellite clinic provides us, I hope you understand how important it is. And in closing, perhaps there is just one final word that I should wrap up with, and that word is crucial. 
This satellite clinic has been crucial in helping our daughter Abby and the rest of the fam Flanagan family cope with cancer. Thank you to the satellite team, Yvette and Lynn, Pogo, Sick Kids, and Rouge Valley Health staff who continue to administer, fund, and support the Oncology Satellite Clinic program as we continue on the path of Abby's cancer journey. Thank you again from the bottom of our hearts. Now I'd like to introduce our final speaker, Dr. Mark Greenberg, Senior Advisor, Policy and Clinical Affairs at POGO. For over 35 years, Dr. Greenberg has made outstanding contributions to improving the survival and quality of life of children with cancer. In 2001, he was awarded the Order of Canada in recognition of his outstanding achievements in the area of childhood cancer. In 2007, he received the prestigious O. Harold Warwick Prize for improving the survival and quality of life of children with cancer. Dr. Greenberg is also a founder of POGO and the organization's former medical director and chair. Dr. Greenberg, thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, let me begin by first acknowledging the pleasure it gives me to see Tracy McCharles, who I knew in a different context, in a different environment, and an Abby, who's transiting that journey and will end up in a similar place. Because the story you just heard is powerful testimony that the diagnosis of childhood cancer is the beginning of an extraordinarily difficult journey. The family's precipitated into a vortex of unfamiliar places, words, treatments, people. Everything is new, everything's overwhelming, everything's extraordinarily difficult. And dreams and hopes suddenly seem impossible. But it is manageable. Abby will attest to that, Tracy will attest to that. Not only is it manageable, it's possible to get through and thrive, and indeed to recreate the dream. And that's what this program really is all about. Making it more possible to get through and grow as a person and as a family. Care close to home, care given by people who are part of your community and who work with the super specialists in the tertiary institutions, people who have expertise and compassion and who can accommodate the inclusion of the normal business of life. School, play, work, family obligations, and can do so easily and within striking distance. That's a huge benefit. This is not only about getting therapy. It's about thriving and coming out at the other end, at least not diminished and preferably incremented. Rouge Valley Centenary, as you've heard, since 2005 is, is as one of seven satellites, a committed partner in the development of a province-wide program orchestrated by Pope. POGO is an organization with its roots ensconced in the community, its limbs in the tertiary hospital, and its trunk firmly connected to the Ministry of Health and Long-Term Care and successive governments. The whole push has been to create an integrated system that seamlessly moves patients between settings and brings state-of-the-art service to the patient, not necessarily the patient to the state-of-the-art service. From diagnosis to outcome, from medical to supportive care throughout the journey, it strives to do that. In my view, it is the embodiment of the Canadian health system. What you need, when you need it, and where you need it. That's the pride of Canada. Pogo has worked with the wider community to make this difficult journey as easy as it can be. And in linking the parts of the system, sick kids in Toronto in this case, the tertiary hospital, to a familiar and local resource and with funding from successive ministries of health, we believe that we have collectively fulfilled our mission to make it as good as it can be and to help turn tragedy into triumph. On behalf of Pogo, <clears throat> our thanks to the Rouge Valley team, to Yvette in particular who is Again, the embodiment of 
what a nurse practitioner, a contemporary Florence Nightingale ought to be. <laughs> to Lynn, to Yuna Moses, who has been a stable medical backup to Karen for her support of the program, and to the entire Rouge Valley Centenary administrative team who, who got it. They grasped it. They hung with it. And to Pogo's dedicated staff who have greased the wheels for the process. <laughs> and in particular, to the parents, the children and families who are the focus of all of the efforts of all of the participants in this complicated dance of life. Our thanks and our congratulations. At this time, I'd like to call again on Carrie Rance Flanagan and her family, as well as Dr. Cunnett and Dr. Greenberg to help us unveil our new sign, which will be on display in our pediatric floor here at Rouge Valley Centennial. Oh, you want to do it? Well, do we count one, two, three like we do with your poke? Okay. Ready? One. Which one of that? Yeah. <laughs> 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 one, two, three.